Well guys, it's Saturday. I'm off work. Had a good day at work today. Ended up getting five hours today. I did some training on the uh on the um Hilo doing the um the scanning of the um the parts and materials and everything and uh making sure I placed it in the right spots and all that stuff, which is pretty you know hard because it was hard to see. That little scanner is hard to read. But uh I gotta pick up me some uh some reading glasses so I can see that damn scanner. But other than that it's pretty good. You know uh place is pretty clean, practically new and it's uh you know not too far from home. Not too far at all. So yeah. I think it's gonna work out. It's a warehouse you know, I hear a lot of people talk about warehouses and whatever. And I have worked at warehouses, you know. But it's it's not the the job, you know. I worked on garbage trucks before and whatever. It's not the job, it's the people. It's the kind of people that you're working with, you know. The worst job you could have, you know, could be uh, pretty much enjoyable if you're working with good people. And, uh... My boss, it's um, over me. He seems like a pretty cool guy, kind of an Indian guy. He speaks a little broken English, but I can understand him. But his brother, not so much. His brother works there too. His English is really broken, and when he's trying to learn something, you know, it's kind of hard to do a lot of steps in the, in the with the scanning deal, whatever. So, in case you guys don't know, he never worked in a warehouse and everything. When you're driving a high low. You have to, uh, it's not just about picking stuff up and putting it down. You know, you have to move it from, usually these materials that come in on trucks and they have to be uh, brought in off the trucks and they have to be scanned so that they know what they got off the trucks. And then they have to be uh, stored, you know, which is placed in a holding area so that they can be, uh, you know, they know where to get them when they gotta go back to them. And then, uh, they have to be uh, scanned again when they got to be put back on a truck for delivery. So it's like stuff comes in and goes out all the time. So it has to be scanned. That's the part that I don't really like, the scanning part. But once you get it down, it's no big deal. Just that my eyesight ain't as good as it used to be. You know, so that's going to be a challenge. But uh, we'll make it work. We'll definitely make it work. Uh, overtime at this place is uh, it's pretty much Monday through uh, Saturday uh, some Sundays you know and uh, but you only work you know you're 8 hours and you're out of there so it's not no 10 hour deal you know unless you want to come in early or you want to stay over late and they say people are fighting for that stuff, so I don't see no problem with that. You know, I'm not gonna act like I don't ever want to do it. You know, I might do it a couple of times just to, just to you know, fit in. You know, you know, because when people see that you don't want to do something, they they want to make you do it. So I'll play it by ear, let them fight over it, because I really don't want to do any overtime. Eight hours overtime a week is more than enough for me, or whatever. But if this first couple of weeks to a month, I'll take all I can get, you know, because I'm trying to build up my my uh, my nest egg again, build up my my emergency fund, you know, which I still got a little more in it and whatever. I'm not destitute yet, you know, which this job came in right on time, so. Worked out good. This is another temporary service, but it's temp to hire. So I'm working indefinitely until they fire me. It's not like a, or unless I quit. It's not like a, you know, you work a couple of days this week and then we'll see. It's uh, from now on, you know, so it's uh, sure money. All as long as I gotta do is get up and get my butt to the job and go to work. 
and put in a day's work. That's it. Now I get paid. So that works out good. That 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 temporary stuff. You know, uh, a day here, a day there. You know, I, I hate to admit I, I did like it because I enjoyed the time off, but you know, my bank account didn't like it. But it's all good. I enjoyed that rest. Now I'm ready to grind now. So I can I can appreciate overtime now. But uh it still sucks that in order to make decent money, you have to do overtime because they don't pay enough to where you can make enough, you know, just a regular straight time. But with overtime it's it's manageable, you know. But uh I'm to a point now where, you know, straight time is good enough for me. Uh, if I get 40 hours a week, I'm happy with that. Perfectly happy with that. Uh, I'll take the 48, you know, the eight hours overtime, I'll take it. But, you know, it's all good. But anyway, go and I'm enjoying this day. I still had enough energy when I got off work to be able to do this because I'm sitting on my butt all day riding the high low. If I'm not careful, I get fat doing that. But uh, I keep feeling like I'm being bit by a mosquito. I got my mosquito thing on me. And as you can see, my pew pew right there. So, and it should be uh, enough to, but see, I'm walking. So, that thermosel doesn't work as good when you're sitting still as it does when you're walking, you know. Well, it works better when you sit still than it does when you're walking, you know. But uh, as I'm walking through, I'm leaving a trail of uh, of uh, repellent, so they're not gonna be following me because usually I come through, I look back, there's a swarm of them following behind me, trying to catch up to me to bite me. But uh, it's not the case now. There are some biting flies buzzing in my ear though. So, there's that, but uh, it's all good. Like I say, it's a nice day today. All that rain we got, this stuff's really growing pretty thick. Coles done went up ahead of me, there he is. He ain't that far ahead, he's right there. So, he was glad to get out of the house. I came home, I opened the door. He came right out to the truck. I didn't even go in the house. I didn't even step foot in the house at all. I let him get in the truck and we took off. So, I'm thinking it's probably about five o'clock now in the afternoon. So, not that late. It's not that early. It's just right. Perfect temperature down here. Not hot, not cold. You know. No wind to speak of. It's not down here. I don't even hear the trees rustling above. So I think it's a pretty still day. So. Not bad. I think we'll go this way this time. We'll go this way. Yeah, so I could have worked next week at the other job. They wanted me back to do the uh, sweeping and cleaning in that uh, in that uh, construction job. They had me uh, set up for the whole week. I could have worked there, but uh, I didn't uh, uh, click on it through the app because I wanted to check this job out first. And uh, I didn't know if I was gonna get this job or not. But uh, when uh, the offer expired, I didn't have no choice. So I went to check out, check out this job and it turned out I got it. You know, so that worked out good because uh, that offer expired. So I wasn't able to do that job. And uh, the temp stuff, I'm really getting to, having a bad experience with that there in the app. You know, you're supposed to get paid every day, you know, or at least within 24 hours of uh, submitting your time. And uh, that's not happening. 
I haven't been getting paid. And the, and the pay's been coming, but it's been coming slow. And it's just been a pain, you know. And then I worked that 13 hours. Uh, well, I worked 11 and a half hours. But they paid me for 13. But I haven't got paid that money yet. I suppose they got it the next day. But it didn't happen. And now it's Saturday. It's the weekend, so they're probably going to drag it through, over through the weekend. So I probably won't get it until next week, Monday or Tuesday. So it was time to get away from that, you know, that uncertainty, you know. And uh, I got to work a week in the hole here, you know, so it'll be a couple of weeks before I get a paycheck, which is fine. You know, the little money they owe me from the other temp service and my savings will, will get me through. So I'm okay. All my monthly uh, expenses have been paid for this month, so I'm already straight for that, you know. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to enjoy my walk today. Probably do it again tomorrow. I'm work, working again tomorrow. I'm on the grind, guys. I am on the grind, you know. Playing catch up. Not really catch up. My bills aren't behind. I'm just trying to to re uh, replenish my my savings, you know. That's the main thing I'm trying to do. Get ahead a little bit, you know. And uh, you know, but I'll tell you right now, I don't see myself working here for the next two years, or however long I got before retiring. Uh, I'm, my plan is to grind this out for the next three or four months and uh, just uh, take a leave absent or something or whatever for uh, the winter months, you know, probably leave around September, October, you know, have enough money saved up to be able to take off, maybe go out west or even to Florida. More likely to Florida because there's more chance of finding a job there. I don't know how the job situation is out west. They say they got uh, job opportunities out there for uh, nomads and people that are traveling and stuff like that. But uh, I don't feel comfortable trusting that. You know, being way out in the desert and whatever. But we'll see. Still got some more upgrades to do on the trailer to make it uh, road worthy for such a trip. As I mentioned, the truck can be some stuff done. But uh, other than that, we're in good shape. But uh, I hear frogs. Really just nice out here. I hear voices though. There's people up ahead. I don't know if they're coming this way or if they're going that way. Cole and I are moving at a pretty good clip. So we could catch up to people if they're on the same trail. Either if they're going the opposite direction. Because we're moving pretty good. But, uh... Mosquitoes, they're not really biting me. I keep feeling like I'm getting bitten. Because I was outside last night. You know, just sitting out enjoying the nice weather and uh, a few mosquitoes got me because I was too lazy to dig my thermosail out and uh, you know when they get you sometimes you don't realize you've been bit until hours after they get you and then you start you start feeling like you're getting bit while you